Hello everyone. Welcome back to Flat Earth Channel where you can access the latest US news. Let's start with some information of John Ratcliffe. US Representative John Ratcliffe to replace Dan Coats as National Intelligence Director. President Donald Trump is said to have been pleased by the Texas Republicans' admonishment of former special counsel Robert Mueller in last week's House Judiciary Committee hearing. John Ratcliffe has tweeted, I am deeply grateful to President Trump for the opportunity to lead our nation's intelligence community and work on behalf of all the public servants who are tirelessly devoted to defending the security and safety of the United States. Chris replied to John Ratcliffe's tweet congrats on acceptance into the upper echelon of the 2019 Nazi party. You will now be remembered as part of the most racist administration in modern times. It's impressive to see where your sycophancy has gotten you. President Donald Trump said he will nominate Representative John Ratcliffe, a Heath Republican, to replace Dan Coats as Director of National Intelligence. He tweeted, I am pleased to announce that highly respected Congressman John Ratcliffe of Texas will be nominated by me to be the Director of National Intelligence. A former U.S. attorney, John will lead and inspire greatness for the country he loves. Dan Coates, the current director, will be leaving office on August 15. I would like to thank Dan for his great service to our country. The acting director will be named shortly. Cindy Carr gave her idea to the Trump's tweet, Mr. President Trump, thank you for all your hard work. You are an awesome president and Americans are so thankful to God for you. Thank you for putting up with the crazy liberals. Don't know what's wrong with them. They are shameful. God bless you. MAGA 2020. Axios broke the news, citing sources who said Trump was thrilled by Ratcliffe's admonishment of former special counsel Robert Mueller in last week's House Judiciary Committee hearing. The special counsel's job, Nowhere does it say that you were to conclusively determine Donald Trump's innocence or that the special counsel report should determine whether or not to exonerate him, Ratcliffe said to Mueller during that hearing. He argued that Mueller went beyond his bounds by making clear the investigation didn't exonerate the president. Ratcliffe, a former federal prosecutor first elected in 2014, was mayor of Heath before successfully challenging the late Ralph Hall. R. Rockwall, then the dean of the Texas delegation. This isn't the first time Ratcliffe has been said to be under consideration for a position in this administration. In November, he was on his short list of possible replacements for fired U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He is also a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Axios was followed by several other outlets, including the New York Times, in reporting that Coates is expected to step down soon. Coates has spent his tenure in the administration at odds with the president. The president's followed that wave of reports. Assuming Ratcliffe passes Senate confirmation, a special election will take place to succeed him in Congress. His fourth district stretches from the Dallas suburbs east to Texarkana. It is almost certain to stay in the Republican column. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe our channel to update the latest news in America.